fucking not having casual sex, Patrick. They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, safely driven, ready for action. All right, it's up and over the fence. Nico, what's this I hear about you running with Patrick McQuarrie now these days? He's got work and he's a good guy. You're not planning on taking him down, are you? Lay off him, for me. I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn brother, you idiot. Packy McCreary, Francis McCreary. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in a place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy and not my other brother. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. And Derek, he's the, the worst. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be held responsible for what I do. My brothers ain't no good, Nico. Trust me on that. You know what? Me and Packy get along. Maybe if doing what you do is good, then I want to be no good instead. I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. So the plan was they were going to hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> then I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey. Okay. Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly. Robin fucking Hood. <laughs> Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, boy. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the money is good. Very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or are we gonna have to kill you? Well, since you put it that way, I mean. Right, Good. all right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. let's do this. Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Pat. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Take us out to the car. Mafia-controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell all those what families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pegarinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary's story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. 
Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you. Ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Nico, stick fucking close to me. I got you now, you sorry sh- Cover me, will you? Kids, 
for a day? Sure, my boy. There's the boat just out there. I'll race you. Can you drive a boat? You got to this fine country in a boat, didn't you, Nico? That don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it, though. I'll give it a try. That was fucking beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the enchiladas don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. I don't fucking worry about it. Now this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, but shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you, though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money, then. What a trooper. What the? Did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your chef. Don't go spending it in the Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky.